Those are actually really neat scissors. They are. They These are wonderful scissors. These are um, Stampin' Up's craft and rubber scissors, and they're really great. I use them a lot for um, trimming out stamp sets and rubber, and also for crafting with heavier duty projects. And they're also great for cutting paper. Miracle scissors. I'm going to cut a little teeny bit of a border when I'm cutting this out, just so I have enough to place some adhesive on the edges. Okay. Take one of the frames. Look at that. And then this should fit perfectly right inside the frame. The next step, I'm going to do a little bit of embossing just to add a little bit of character to this, just to make it jump out at you. I was going to say, that's actually probably what makes it so professional looking. Really, really alters the look of it and mm -hmm. jumps out at you. To do this, I'm going to use our brocade motifs stamp set. Mm -hmm. And we've used this before. We're going to use the beautiful brocade swirl here just for a little accent piece, just to emboss and really make this pop. I'm going to use Versamark. It's a watermarking stamp pad. Mm -hmm. We're going to ink up the brocade motif stamp. And what do you mean by watermarking? I mean if I stamp it on any color, uh -huh. it will bring out a watermark of that color. So I'm just going to ink up the stamp with the Versamark and then I'm going to press this down onto our designer paper. And then I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up or not, but you can, can see, see you can color. see a little bit of contrast in the color there. It gives you a nice tone on tone effect. Mm -hmm. It's also great for embossing, which is what we're going to use it for today. I'm going to take some of Stampin' Up's Gold Emboss Powder, and it comes in a little jar. I'm just going to pour it and right that over. That like an awfully small jar. It is a very small jar. And look at this. I'm just going to pour the whole thing right over the top of this and flick the back. I'm using a powder pal tray underneath me so that once I do that and flick all the extra powder off, mm -hmm. I can just pull the plug. Oh, so even though you get this tiny little jar, it actually lasts, seems that it'll last a long time because you only really ever use what you need. Right, because it all just pours right back into the jar again. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the heat tool. Mm -hmm. And what does that do? It's going to oh, melt wow. the powder. And so you can it, actually start seeing it glisten up gives us the gold foil effect. And so once it's actually completely dried like that, is it safe to touch? Absolutely. Oh, Run your fingers right over there. <laughs> it's good to go. And then we're going to take and just add one more small embellishment before we attach. Mm -hmm. We're going to use some of Stampin' Up's Ribbon Originals. Okay. And these are an assortment of different styles and colors of ribbons. There are different, there are different packages of Ribbon Originals. Oh wow, it looks like you get about two yards of each Ribbons, yes, they're, a lot. Yeah, they're in a, and really we're just going to use a small amount on this so mm -hmm. this will be able to be reused over and over again. This one's called Beachfront and I'm just going to take this, we call this the garter belt style, <laughs> and just it, I'm going to cut just enough to stretch it slightly over our project. Okay. And then to attach this, I'm going to use some of Stampin' Up's sticky strip. So how come you're not using the snail adhesive with this? I want something that's going to be a little bit stronger. This this particular ribbon has got a little elastic and it's going to bounce and if I don't use something a little stronger than the snail, it may pop up at me. That's really great for flat paper, but when I'm doing anything with dimension, I want to mm -hmm. use the strong, now, super how come, strong. How come it's red? The red is the backing of the oh, sticky okay. strip. And here I'm just so going to... So it's actually like double-sided sticky strip and... Right. It's double sided, but right now, so I can get one side down, there's mm -hmm. a protective backing on it. And I'll just go ahead and stick just, a, I just putting a couple of pieces on here. And then I'm going to peel off the protective backing and stick it down. Now, what else can you use with the sticky strip? Sticky strip is great for any kind of 3D project that you're, that you're using. If you do any uh, gift bags or pouches mm -hmm. where you're holding candy or something that's a little bit heavier than paper, sticky strip works so great like with that. it's heavy duty yeah. adhesive. And we'll just stick that right down. And I have a little bit on the end, so it will stick. And then we have Very our embellishment. Nice. And then we're going to use the sticky strip to attach to our frame as well. Now here we want that to line up just right. So what I'm going to do is attach a little bit of sticky strip to the back of our frame. And I'm just going to take a few small pieces.
So once again, we're using the signature strip just to give it a little more adhesive. Pattern. Right, just to get, because we're going to be using this as home decor and it's going to be out on display, we want to make sure that none of the pieces come off. So we're going to use a really strong adhesive on it. When I attach this, I want to make sure that I get it right in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up very gently because we don't want to have the line mark showing. There. And voila. Very nice. The other half of the project done the same way. Mm -hmm. We'll attach this on here. And then I just took another piece of our chipboard and attached it to the back. Just to put it together. Using some brad. And then once you attach your little piece of chipboard and have a beautiful little art frame. You can just get any and little. We've used an easel here just from, just from Walmart. That's beautiful. And now we have a great, this would make a great gift. It mm -hmm. would also make a great piece to put out with your pictures of your new baby <laughs> or your new dog. Yep, and it's just such a more creative and beautiful way to display photos than your standard photo frame. Right. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tammy. Excellent. Thanks, Vanessa. Thanks.